Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to resolve an issue. An issue is that when you try to take a backup of a database, you run into a couple errors right here. You may run into cannot open backup device, operating system error access is denied, and this is your location of your backup. And the other error you may run into is operating system error, system cannot find path specified or specified path. So this is the checklist that we'll be going through one by one in order to resolve this issue because there could be a multiple uh, issues that why you're running into issue like this. So we'll be checking each of the uh, possible uh, issue and uh, provide the solution right there. So first uh, we need to check if our folder location right here where we provided in our backup, it it is valid. It exists on our uh, operating system file system. And the second up here, uh, if we're using SQL Server Management Studio and right-clicking and taking a backup, then we need to make sure that uh, SQL Server uh, service account uh, has permission, write permission on the folder right here, on your backup folder. Third up here, if you're uh, running SQL Server agent as a transactional SQL, then you need to make sure that because if you run uh, your script under trans uh, your transactional SQL script uh, in SQL agent, still it runs back behind the scene on operating system SQL service account. If SQL service account doesn't have permission and you're seeing, okay, SQL server agent account has permission and why I'm getting into this error, keep in mind that uh, it's connecting to master database and running your transactional SQL script. That is basically on operating system, it needs permission. SQL Server service account needs permission, not the agent. Agent uh, account really doesn't matter on the um, file system, and I'll show you why. And uh, if your uh, job is running on SQL Server agent under a proxy account, that's when it matters. So proxy account, you need to make sure that proxy account really have proper permission on this folder, backup folder, and um, proper permission on the backup folder so that the backup can be placed in there. If, if proxy account doesn't have permission, you may run into this error or one of these errors again. So let's go ahead and uh, try to take a backup and go through the checklist one by one. And I already have uh, I'm already connected with SQL Server Management Studio. So let's go ahead and try to take a backup of sales orders. So I'm going to go ahead and go and take a backup. In my case right here, my backup location is C SQL Sys Backup Backups and uh, my name, uh, uh, database backup name is sales orders. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to take the backup. And I ran into an issue, cannot open backup device and up here it says system cannot find the path specified that means the location that i have provided right here is not valid on operating system file system so let's go ahead and check whether this uh, up here the location c sql ba um, sys backup and backups exist so i'm going to go ahead and go open my computer go in c and see if sql sys backup exists it does and then I'm gonna see that if backups folder exists and it does not. I do have a backup, uh, backups underscore one, but I don't have a folder backups. That means that uh, the location we provided is not valid on the operating, operating system file system. So let's go ahead and rename this backup into, you can create another folder if you don't have folder exist and your location is not valid you need to have a valid location in my case i'm going to go ahead and rename this folder and use that as my backup so i'm going to go ahead and um, run the job again and see what kind of error i run into and as you can see that my backup is completed successfully. Now let's go ahead and check the SQL Server service account, that what SQL Server service account it's running. So I'm going to go ahead and fire up my SQL Server Configuration Manager. And here it is. It is running under Tech Brothers SQL SVC. This is the service account that it is running. So now go back. We have it has the permission right here. Right click on the backups and go 
in properties and look at the security as you can see SQL service account is present and it has all kind of permission so let's go ahead and basically take away the permission right here and then we will reproduce the error of access denied and I'm going to go ahead and click on edit and this is SQL service right here I'm going to go ahead and take full control out and I'm going to take the full uh, right permission up here out and hit apply OK and OK so let's go back and just verify again security and then we look at the permissions read execute list of folder contents read right here so we're gonna go ahead and click OK and try to run our job one more time and see if we get into any error so let's go ahead and take a backup as you can see right here we ran into error cannot open backup device right here and operating system access denied so let's go ahead and click OK and click OK I'm sorry click cancel this so up here I have a SQL Server agent job and it's disabled let me enable the job so what basically this job is doing if you double click on the job go to steps and go to edit it's running a transactional SQL and right here is a backup command that is running and is using master database keep in mind that what I was talking about run as right here you don't get any option when you run transactional SQL that means even though the job is created on SQL server agent but it will still use SQL server account to basically um, create the backup file so right here is the location let me show you real quick this is our location same location as we did on SQL Server Management Studio SQL Server sys backup backups so we're gonna go ahead and click OK and try to run this job and see if, we, if, if this job gets successful and as you can see that uh, we got an error so let's go ahead and take a look what kind of error we got up here it says that operating system access is denied and right here even though our cluster admin right here uh, tech brothers it's just executed as user tech a cluster admin has the permission let's go back and take a look if I click on security and cluster admin as you can see the cluster admin has full permission but look at the SQL service account it ha it doesn't have a right permission to it now let's go ahead and change the permission of SQL service account and allow full permission or you can just do write permission and modify permission hit apply OK and OK now let's go back and run our job right here so let's go ahead and start the job let's see if it gets successful as you can see it is successful so right here is our backup so basically uh, what we need to do is whenever we run into um, error like this we need to make sure and we're running SQL Server agent job and it's a transactional SQL and run as is empty it's not running as a different account you need to make sure that SQL service account SQL Server service account has proper permission in um, your location right here and we went through you know uh, we reproduce this error uh, system cannot find specified path and then we reproduce the error uh, we, we fixed that er error and then we ran into access denied and we made sure that service account has permission and we got success with that and then after that we looked into SQL Server agent using T-SQL script agent job and reproduce the same error and then after that we made sure that uh, C SQL Server service account has proper permission and that error went away and we were able to resolve that error and I hope this video helps